Let's go guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Way. We're only one of the S tier mid laners at the moment. And there's a really OP build for him as well, where you go the Blackfire into the Lyandries, that is going to absolutely shred Rusas and tanks and pretty much any other target as well. So Q start. And I like to spam the double Q because it's fast poke like this. Almost a guaranteed hit, you know, uh, because really difficult to uh, dodge because of how fast it comes out. Double Q is what I used to poke with. It does have a pretty small hitbox. So usually you try to aim it when the opponent is walking up to last hit and stuff like that. And if they're standing behind minions, then you can use the Q into the E. That is the ability right here. Hits like every target on his way. Okay, nice bot land. Not bad at all. And the QW is like a long range damaging ability. Really good for, you know, like picking off opponents, recalling with low HP and stuff like that. And when you hit the opponent with two abilities, you proc the passive. That's going to like spawn a zone below that um, deals AoE damage. So now we have like access to all of the basic abilities. The E path is, you know, fear, root. So it's like a CC path and the W is utility, bonus moon speed shield and stuff like that and also getting mana back and of course the Q path is the damage so it's a champ that has like a lot of different combos and no point trying to like explain everything because you would have to play him for yourself to really understand how it works okay, good he did not reset even though he has TP and if you click on an ability and you don't want it anyways you can just press your ult that's going to like make you go back to neutral. Oh, that did not hit. And I like to use the W into the E. I'm so dead, am I not? Maybe I'm fine. Am I fine or not? Looks like I am. Let's go. Alright. Got two flashes out. Endema is as dead as someone can be. Viego's gonna go straight top lane. Gonna get this. We're gonna get boots. Pretty decent. Oh, he's gone. No flash on the Viego, no flash on the Asir. But it's, you know, the thing is you want to be going for the passive procs. And when you want to wake clear, you can just use this one. The one that gives you AoE damage. And this one gives you mana back. So, you know, when you're fighting the opponent, you can use the W into the E. So you get some mana back on auto attacks. Another passive proc to see that damage. It f sort of feels like a rumble ult. You see, that's the long range ability right there. Not enough to finish them off, but get the idea. Somebody recalling. And this is what you can use to wave clear. So use the QE. Oh, and the cannon is gone. Diego might come soon. I think I'm gonna greet and try to push out another wave. Asir is gonna get level 6 soon. 
the ultimate is also another huge AoE ability, ability guys. So it's a gem that, you know, balanced out around dealing huge AoE damage to like the entire enemy team. If you can get them to stack up or something, popping that QE with the ultimate and the double E is gonna chunk them for a ridiculous amount of damage. And it is a skill shot that also slows. But because it's a skill shot, it's not that fast either, so I would say that it is relatively easy to dodge. This is the stuff I really hate. For some reason, these guys think they should be going for an objective right now when I'm not here. What are you guys doing? Don't do that, guys. Don't be like these two. Always look at your lanes before you decide to go for objectives. You don't go for the objective when your mid lane are just recalled. That is griefing. But this jam has pretty decent range, as you can see. But its main damage is not high range. Bam, the ultimate popping. He messed up his ultimate, I was too far away. That was never going to work out. But you see that delayed damage coming from your ultimate? That's going to chunk the opponent for a huge amount later on. But usually the combo I do is that you can use the E and then the Q, that's going to fear. And then you can use the double Q. When I want to push, I use the Q and then just D. It's going to spawn this one and then you can use the W. E, like this. Right, we did not lose this cannon. So far, so good. And the W, you know, the one I used mostly when W is the W into the E. That is the one that gives me like uh, mana back when I auto attack. You see the Q, movement speed, the W, shield. This champ has so much. Really difficult to like play, play properly. Because there's so many combos and such you have to learn. If I stay for another wave I can get my uh, item straight up. That was important to hit. And pass a proc, and he's low HP already. Maybe we can go for a kill, but I feel like Viego's gonna be here and then mess me up. Shall we greet anyways? We shall. There he is, I knew it. What a little rat. Bro, if he uses salts. He's not gonna die, but I can finish him off. He's waiting for me to uh, go in, I think. Oh, no, man, he died. <laughs> I just trying to hit him a little bit because I know that Kazus the one ult is not dealing a lot of damage, so I want to like put him as low as possible. Oh, she should have ulted him out. Jana, what you doing, bro? Press your ultimate and kick him out. Not a very reactive support. It's only one Drake, so not too bad. TP back, so now we got that first item. Next is going to be the Lyandris. 
Damn, wave is gone. They control ward. Got him. Yeah. Huge AoE damage. And if the opponent does not respect, it is goodbye. It is goodbye. Man, I could have gotten a plate. Remember that you can use your ultimate to like cancel the enchantment that you have uh, chosen. If you accidentally take a different or uh, one you don't want. Enemy killing spree, that's the Aatrox. Which is okay, my build is really good against Aatrox, you know, against Prusas especially. Nice. That would have sucked if he got to cancel that one out. You can use the WQ to get back to lane a little bit faster. It's not a lot of bonus moon speed, but you know, it works on your allies as well. So it can help you run away, or maybe when you just want to chase someone who's not too close, but almost. No ult. There we go. That's the Q into the W. Because you can see, look at how much damage it can deal, guys. That is insane. It's almost like an ultimate worth of damage. If you manage to use it right. Let's get some vision up here. See, getting some mana back with the auto attacks. It's gonna sustain you through the laning phase. Might get two man Aatrox and the Viego. No justice. Oh, that he's coming, he really wants to look for a kill. Man, that's so much damage, what? And then QW to cancel recall. Wow. I already have it up soon. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> He's gone, bro. Even though he has been out for a while, I feel like people still don't quite understand what he can do. He comes this way. He should be low. Yeah, he is. Just keep up the pressure. The Tarik will teleport. That's quite interesting. Not enough. Thing is, it's such a huge zone, this QE covers as well, guys, so it's not like people can just walk through it in order to poke you. Oh, we should not be doing this. We should not be playing around top. Don't face tank, guys. Come here. Oh, that was so... that was way too close. I can just go bot our special inter. Our supreme inter. Alright, so much gold. And I can just sell the Dorans. I feel like I don't understand why do the enemy team always get like that jungle that has complete focus on the objectives. I was just like doesn't even realize he's doing it. Like doesn't get any more obvious than this.
Oh, that did not hit the first one. Well, we had the two core items right now, guys, and now it's fun time. It is time for fun. You poke the opponents a lot during team fights, and you're great all in. It will damage. And if you hit people who are grouped up, you can probably one shot with a full combo. Was he coming this way? Saw him. Maybe this is warded? Why can't I paint exactly what I imagine? Jesus Christ, man. The goon squad is always here. Get him, boys. Where's he going? Can I hit him? Oh, he flashed. Okay. That would have been a kill if I hit. You know, when he has flash up, nothing to do. Hey, what is this ape doing? Bro, I swear, if he stole that wave, I would have been so... That would be griefing. You don't int the one who's carrying your game. You gotta help them. So luckily he uh, went to freeze the wave and not steal it like 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 99% of players do. But in team fights, you know, if you use that Q into the E. When people are stacked up like the way up here, I think I should have used that one. That would have dealt a lot of damage. And also that's slow. But the QW is insane. What's my ADC doing? Oh, the hit. Could be pretty low now. He might try to like ult me in. What? Oh, he's gonna get shielded. Damn! Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Ridiculous damage with that QW, guys. I don't see the H rocket as Ash Hold coming. Nope, no one here. Man, we are losing all of the objectives. Gonna shield them. That goes to Kaisa. You see how you can easily pick people off with that QW, and it comes out so fast as well. That's why it's so hard to play around. Don't die, guys. I have the fear already. Legendary, let's go. Let's go. This jam is so fun. Like, if you learn how it works, I feel like he's so worth it to invest the time into. You're gonna get a death cap. We're gonna hope that our jungler does not recall right now. We lose another drake because then even though we are winning right now, we are three drakes down. I can't even ping. Riot Games nerf the pings. But we need the drake, he's gonna sneak it.
coming. Let's see if we can find him. I just see see him. Bro, Jana? Jesus Christ, I actually lost it. Oh, she had ults. Bro, she had ults. We are losing the fights for that us here because these guys are playing it so terrible. He's just AFK pushing and we're losing Drake's too. This is an example of a game where you can do really well, but the rest of your team is getting gapped so hard that the game is still losing. Trust me, you guys will have a lot of these games. Over the years I've played this game, I've seen this much, you won't even believe it. He actually went for it. That ultimate is some huge damage, man. The Aatrox is like the main one making it hard for us. There we go. Oh. Oh, I think we lost this game, guys. These guys are a bunch of bots, all four of them. Huge bots. Man, look at this. Broken, man. I have to defend bot side too, look at this. They don't even need their carries. Might be recalling here, let's see. I'm just a trace of who I was. Now Ash is gonna die or what? What are they doing? Yeah, hey, you're actually getting what? Okay, that was actually close. I can't tell if they're like trolling or if they're just that bad. I feel like it's the last one. And then Trindamer, I think he's just soft ending because he lost mid. But he doesn't care. We need to clear out the vision. I don't have my flash up. And I need some uh, magic pen because their frontline is buying MR and he's getting really tanky. Oh, he already is really tanky actually. And uh, by the Crypt Bloom, guys, you get ability haste. You also get a passive that heals. And, you know, almost full build. This ACR has been AFK farming and is still super far behind in CS. He's probably the one who has the easiest time this game, because he can do this the entire game. His teammates are winning 4 vs 5. And why is he not matching the ACR? What? Nice GG's guys. 
It's GG's. Oh, now you're going bot. Now you're going bot. Why? What? What was this guy top for? I don't understand. Okay, we got the Asir at the cost of Baron and probably the Soul as well. So last item probably has to be anti-healing. The funny thing is that I am the one playing a champ that has no mobility and I only died once. Only once. So if you can't position, I did make a big mistake when I died here though. But just watching that Trindamag going top. Level 16. My seeks answers for the most burning questions. And they will just he's not gonna smite it. I can almost guarantee that one. Melee AD carry, let's go. Bro, a bunch of bots. All these four need Primaven. All these four are a bunch of animals. Need Primaven. Can't even call these rats humans. They are as dumb as someone can get. Bro, for a second I thought that was Ash. Uh... Ash holds. I'm gonna heal so much. I'm gonna heal so much. Huge AoE, is it enough? Probably not. Aatrox just face tanking everything. Okay, we got him before he transformed. Bro, he's... He's face tanking everything, what? Is that, man? That is not fair. GG's for this one, can't do too much about these four players, but that's how it goes sometimes, so let's do one more. Alright, game two, new game, new focus, and now Silas. I mean, I think I actually like this matchup, but it's bad in the sense that if he ever gets within range, you're just dead. Because he has a lot of burst and then he also heals for a ton. But playing into matchups like these will really teach you about positioning because if you make one mistake, the lane is usually over. If it's a good Silas. Mana flow band stack, let's go. But the rest of the team, Camille can be really hard, you know, they have some heavy engage with the Kaiser and the Camille. Oh. Take that one then. Okay, yeah, they're not invading at least, they just warded. He started to see, I assume. But I like to Q start, you can also do the W start, also works. Nothing's as simple as black and white. 
It looks like he started his C. If he didn't, I can just walk up, you know, and smack him. You need level 2 at least, right? When you get the fear, because then it's harder for him to engage. And his electrocute gives him a lot of burst. Alright, there we go. Dodge that one, that's crucial. Second part of E hurts a ton, guys. Because then he just gets within range for his empowered auto attacks. That's what he wants to avoid. That's the good thing right here when you're using the Empowered Auto Tag and then just hit another ability and the passive procs. We see the brand. Ow. I should not use that one. Wasted mana. Rand could be coming from both sides, but then I just run top. Now that he's slow, we have control over the lane for now, that is. The Brand comes. So I'm gonna hover the side. I'm not standing close to this side. He'll probably dash forward if I use my double E. Feared. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. Am I getting flashed or no? Let's get him. Oh, let's get away. He's TPing. Just run, don't end my lane. Don't end my lane, bro. Jesus, man. Are you brainless or what are you doing? What an animal. Alright, I think uh, we just reset this one. Oh, I guess not. Get back to the ARAM. Ah, that sucks. I tried to bait. He was just a little bit too far away. I intentionally tried to get hooked and then fear him so the tower would hit, but he was not just slightly out of range. Almost worked. Almost worked. That'll look pretty cool as well. Level 6. Handsome one recall. Okay, we did it. Now just keep the wave here. Looks like Thresh is just gonna roam all the time. Looks like I can't freeze it if she's going to contest. Skull crap. Be what? Okay, wave is in a good spot. We already have a pretty decent CS lead. Enemy 
I could die here because I don't have my flesh up. If I hit that E, he would have been dead. But now I had just had to go back, otherwise I risk getting smacked in the face. Oh. Young was getting smacked. Get the cannon. I guess you can also use this ability for long range farming. He's gonna die as well, that's fine. I'll take that. But you see what happens if he just gets within range. Oh man, that sucks. Take the farm, take the farm. This time is not watching the map at all. How on earth is this Kaiser sitting on 4 kills? I mean, I guess based on what this time can did over here, I can kind of understand. Why that may be happening. Good combos. Trying to constantly get that passive proc off. Want to push this one because it's in the best spot. I don't see the brand, that's why I'm being a bit careful. I still don't see him uh, and I don't see the thresh I oh there he is but Jesus bro, I trolled with that one so hard. But I think this guy sucks too. I see he's gonna die, that's worth. Oh what? I didn't even get the kill? Like what is that? I used the wrong CC. Because the E into the Q it's a skill shot. Pretty easy to dodge if they're aware of it, so better to use your double E or the EW because the EW drops down this zone and they cannot walk that way then. Then you basically just lock them out. They can't dodge anything else, that was really... That was my mistake though. Oh man, last sitting with mages, that's that's a really special experience. He has rocket belt. I don't see threats, so I would just have to back off and get some mission down. Place it over here guys. That one sucks. Titus might be going down. Let's get the Silas. Hey, oh! Nice. Alright. Getting some assists here and there. You know, the reason I could not walk down was because, you know, he's way stronger than I am. And it's really easy for him to catch me over here. So usually they just wait in the brush and try to bait you out. No justice, no revenge. But our Jinx got a bunch of kills. And shot downs too. Who were they pinging though? Was it the uh, Thresh? You see how slow that ultimate is? I could actually flash kill him. 
I hit a fear. Oh, my days, man. That actually missed. Nice. Not within range of that one. Okay. Silas is dead, so just go back to pushing. Let's go. Let's go, guys. It's so fun, like the fun thing about this jam is that he has so many different combos that you can use for different scenarios. But also what makes it punishing to play him is that, you know, if you mess up, like I did during the fight over here and miss my CC. Almost wipe both of us out, just because I... Bro, what? Melee AD carry, what? So you're taking this one. Ooh, okay. Bro, this guy is crazy. This guy is actually crazy. Guess I'll go top. I can go top, no worries. Oh, she's dead. And Gwen right now, guys, I'm actually going to make a video as well, but she's like the most broken, broken top laner. There is in the game at the moment. Insane win rate. And for some reason she's not hotfix nerfed yet. Almost 54%. That was a good one though. I mean I did troll before but this one was good. Why is my AD carry mid? Giving up the bot tower. Their rotations are bronze level. I'm not gonna go bot, I don't care. I'll just stay mid then. I'm not gonna spend the time going from top all the way to bot. Oh, that's OP, man. I feel like you either get insane team comp players just stomping or they just hardened. There's no in between what's like even anymore. That's the boring thing. Uh, well, if have this one, I think we'll take one more, just for the fun. GG's. Let's get it guys, so today I present you one of the hardest matchups you can possibly play, and that's going to be the Zed. He has way too much mobility, and he can easily dodge everything you throw at him. Because you are pretty much only skillshot based. So this is going to be a very hard lane, so let's see if I can survive and, you know, get to the point where we um, scale up and do team fighting. But even if we team fight, it's still going to be bad because we don't have any online. Trundle main job is to FK split push all the time, so we mainly have to like get uh, picks. Because we are no team fighting. They have Leona. They have long range engage with Jin. They have Mordecai, Samundo. Two strong front line. Actually, three strong front lines. So we have to be poking a lot. But against something like Zed, you want to take advantage of like the early game, you know, before he gets level 6. So try to poke as much as possible. 
and get an advantage that way. Well, actually, pretty cool skin though. Pretty decent. Two auto attacks. Creativity is limitless. For better or worse. He has three potions though. Next one is going to proc the arcane comet. And he's playing with ignite as well, so that makes it even harder. Nice, okay, got first blood. I like what I'm seeing. Level 3 is where you had to start being a bit more careful. His WQ combo. It's a ton. That's a proc. Let's go. Now he has it. Okay, that's fine. If you don't get hit by both shurikens, it's okay, it's not too bad. And now it's usually when you can walk up and, you know, hit him for a bit. That's a really good combo. I'm staying behind minions because that reduces the damage of the shurikens. We can only do this until he gets level 6. Right, a QW is going to finish him off. Question is, can I hit it or not? Let's go, guys. Let's go. How did I time it? I was looking at my own minions and see when he would stand still to cue that minion. And he's out. Him dying early on is going to help us out a lot in surviving. That was absolutely huge. So maybe we can actually survive the lane now. WQ, get back to lane a little bit faster. That's looking good. Nice. That's what I like to see. And then he, him also getting solo killed when he has Ignite up. That's even better. He can of course roam and then just pick up a bunch of kills. People don't respect rooms. Yeah. Okay, nice. He messed up the combo. Now we have a couple seconds to do something. Bordekaiser doesn't really do much until he gets his ulti, but then he becomes annoying. Similar to that. Go. If he takes this one, I can just all in him. Not pushing too much either. A little bit. Stacking a wave up. Should be getting six soon. If I don't have my E up when he gets level 6, I'm probably dead. But I did not proc the passive, it expired. Use your potions. Don't want to be low HP against an assassin. Even if you are at like 70% or something, always use the potions. He is level 6 now, so here become, uh, begins the hard part. Rampage. 
Can I take it? I'm gonna survive. Let's go. Let's go. And the thing I did right here is that I threw it right behind me as soon as he appeared. So I feared him and then I used the combo. Not have enough mana for a shield, I think, so it was a bit closer than it should have been. But typically this is what they pick, you know, when you take something like away, they always try to counter pick. The assassins or like high range mages. And you can definitely do stuff if you're good on your champ. Okay, that one dodged. He doesn't have boots yet. See how OP this combo is for pushing. Just not letting him farm for free at all. Punishing like every move almost. Man, he's gonna be so mad. And we just keep it up. Thought maybe if I could see him, I can cancel recall. I'll just keep pushing so he loses minions. And I can get a plate and then I'll back off. Alright, good stuff. Place a ward here and then reset. He didn't even heal back to full. Maybe I should just about the boots. Oops. Misclicked. Good time to reset because Mordecai was also coming, apparently. Bro, this Rex is destroying everything. I pinged them so they should know. Let's see where he's coming from. Okay, he's back. Can I do it again? I'm a, I didn't, you see, I'm not using my CC, I'm just auto attacking, trying to like bait out his ultimate. Because for him, he just thinks I'm going to use an ability. It's really hard to time it that way. And if he's not doing anything, I just keep auto attacking. I don't see the Mordecai, sir. I'm gonna keep my E up. In that case, just for safety. Oh, there's a fight going on. Survive my bro. Oh. And my team survive. Nice. I think that was just at the last second. Man, that range is ridiculous. Look at this. It's, it's so good. Also, like, if you, you know, try to steal, like, a way above or something from the enemy jungle, it's very possible. Well, she is a bit too healthy. Cannot get a kill with a QW that way. Just keep using the QE. Because it's really good for wake clearing. Yeah, 
I'll keep pushing then if he wants to come. Hopefully I don't die. Yeah, I can CC him. I would have to fear him. I actually think he saw that going over, no? Because the gold got split up. Did he FK? Did he just leave? Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Misclick my uh, abilities. Mega misclicked, actually. Well, that's something that can happen if you're playing a champ with a lot of abilities and you also use the ultimate to cancel out the brushes or the elements or what you call it. You're gonna flash? Take that one, thank you very much. 3.2k and looks like he went AFK. That's the feels good man when they counter pick with ignite and assassin they get smacked and rage quit. That's almost no better feeling guys. Almost no better feeling. Rundle also smacking top and the FF guys so that was how to play away. Really hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time. GG's.